Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking all about a vacation capsule wardrobe. Think high summer, think hot weather, whether you live in a warm climate, you're going on a two week holiday abroad to a warm destination and you don't know what to pack with you. Here basically are the 50 items I would suggest would complete a high summer, hot summer, capsule wardrobe. I have well 47 items in total but a couple of quads. 21 of them are made from accessories so I've included jewellery and sunglasses and hats and shoes and handbags so about 26 pieces are actually clothing. I'm going to kick off with dresses. Now I have four dresses in this high summer capsule wardrobe and two of those dresses I would suggest are versatile dresses that you can wear in the day and you can wear them in the evening as well and in hot weather and also for this purpose I love a midi maxi length loose fitting backless dress. So I have two dresses here, one of which is from H&M and then this beautiful dress from Free People which I cannot get enough of, absolutely love this. Another tip as well is to look for cotton and breathable materials. Out of those dresses I would suggest to take one purely evening dress and personally I love a silk slip, can you tell? This one is from Warehouse, absolutely beautiful because we have some slight lace detailing as well with it monochrome has my heart so I feel like you could wear that a couple of nights because I feel wearing black or white you can rewear a few times if you're wearing a bright colour or a pattern then it's maybe more noticeable that you're wearing the same items of clothing more than once. The fourth dress is a beach cover up dress so the beautiful crochet style dress that you'll see doing the rounds. There's so many of these at the moment. Again, this is the H&M one that I kept from my H&M haul, which I'll leave linked for you guys if you didn't see that. And I feel as well as wearing this for the beach, you could also dress it up for the evening and obviously you could wear it in the day as well. So it is a pretty all rounder dress this one, but in specific, a beach cover up. Let's talk swimwear. Obviously, if you're a bikini girl, go for your bikini. If you're more into wearing swimsuits, then go for swimsuits. I decided to go for two swimsuits on this rail. Not sure why I didn't include a bikini. I thought that I had done, but nonetheless, we will continue with the two swimsuits. And again, this is from my H&M haul. Uh, you will have seen this one in the H&M haul, along with those two dresses, you can see them styled there. And it's a beautiful sort of backless number. We have this rib detailing that's been made very popular from Hunza G and it's a bandeau. So you could also double that up as a top. That's why I think I went for uh, swimsuits because I think they're more functional in terms of wearing them as a top in the day as well, like a vest top style. And this beautiful piece is from Free People. Really nice, rich brown color. And we have a scoop back at the back and it's kind of this um, chenille velory style. So again, I thought that would be nice for wearing as a top rather than obviously a shiny swimsuit material, which is gonna be obvious more that you're wearing a swimsuit. Something which in my mind is very underestimated is a silk slip scarf. I feel it's really multifunctional, again, really light on the packing. I think you can wear them as beach cover-up, as a sarong. You can tie it lots of different ways as a top. I actually have a YouTube short sharing this. Uh, you could tie it in your hair, you could wear it as a headscarf, you could tie it onto your beach bag as a little added accessory. I think it's just a great all-rounder and just really multifunctional as well. I have four of this style of top, the first being a bandeau because it's just great for being on holiday, not having to worry about those strap marks and tan lines, great for layering in the evenings, wearing in the day, pairing with denim shorts for a little bit of sightseeing, or just chucking on to go down for breakfast with a skirt. Then I have two tank tops, both from Arquette. I love Arquette basics. Again, with your tank tops, vest tops, in warm, hot weather, Look at the composition, these are both 100% cotton and I've gone for two slightly different styles. So I've gone for more of a racer style vest top in a really nice neutral colour. Personally I don't really go for white white because I find sun cream can obviously ruin white clothing while you're abroad and also I feel like they're a little bit more see-through. So I've gone for this really nice kind of loose fitting comfortable cotton 
uh, vest top, just love our kept basics. And then I recently picked up this beautiful stripe number, which is a thin strap scoop back top, really lightweight, easy to wear. Again, light straps for those tan lines, and I thought I would add a little bit of a Parisian stripe into this capsule wardrobe, because as you can see, we don't really have any prints going on right here. Sticking with the cotton theme again, nice and light and breathable, I would then suggest have sort of a crop top or bralette because these work really well with high-waisted skirts, high-waisted trousers. Just so simple, but also so chic. Again, versatile from day to evening, and I'd even wear that for a little bit of sightseeing with a pair of denim shorts. Sticking on the sleeveless top train, I have a waistcoat. I love this trend, I know it's probably not for everybody, but I think that they're really versatile with the fact you could wear this in the day with either a little bralette or a little vest top or even, you know, like a bikini top underneath with this open. And it would look really cool, again, with a pair of shorts. Next, I've got a good old basic t-shirt. I've decided to go for my Neen Bing one, but if you wanted to go for a plain white, plain colourful t-shirt, or any t-shirt of your choice, but I just love the kind of vibe of a band t-shirt. Great for traveling, great for just chucking on for breakfast, great for chilling in, great for cooler days, uh, great for if you burn your shoulders and you need to cover up, so you just want a nice, loose fitting cotton t-shirt because you just can't go wrong. Now we're moving into shirt territory, and I would recommend going for a slightly cropped version. Again, I feel cropped shirts look amazing with all those high-waisted pieces, high-waisted trousers, high-waisted skirts, you know the drill, I've already mentioned it. And this one was featured in my Zara haul, um, so you'll see that one over there. If you want to watch that, I'll leave it linked below. And I went for this one because it was giving me Jacques Mousse vibes, and it's also, again, 100% cotton. Needless to say, there's quite a little bit of linen in this high summer capsule wardrobe and what I would wear in hot weather rail because of course it's such a great fabric for when it's warm um, and sometimes I feel it can be cooler actually with the whole body covered up in loose linen rather than having all your skin on show. You will have seen this in a couple of my shorts here on YouTube and also over on my Instagram because like I said I wear all my clothes lots of different ways. That is the whole point of a capsule wardrobe rail and also the whole point of my channel, really. So yeah, if you like that, make sure that you stick with me for some more video content. Now I have a couple of matching sets to share with you. I think these are great because obviously they look amazing worn together. It's a really easy, no-brainer outfit to reach for when you're on holiday, but equally you can mix and match them with other pieces on the rail to create lots of multiple looks and then get the most out of what you've packed for your holiday away or just for your rail at home for the warm weather. And the first piece that I think is such a great staple is a linen shorts and shirt set, specifically a short sleeve one as well for warm weather. And these are also great for wearing as pajamas as well, all year round, or you know, wearing them for both, wearing them for pajamas, wearing them as a poolside cover up, wearing them to keep cool while you're doing a bit of sightseeing, chuck it on for breakfast, easy no brainer to look chic in a two piece, style it up at night as well. So as well as a linen set, I think it's really nice to have a sort of silky short set. Now these are actually, pyjamas and again I have a shorts on my YouTube channel and also a reel over on my Instagram for these styling them different ways and I'm all here for wearing your PJs out in public. This is from Nap Loungewear. I have a 25% off discount code I'll make sure to leave that linked below. You can buy them as a set, buy them as separate, they come in different colours but I love this shirt and the sort of wide sleeves we have going on, the beautiful pipe detailing on this really nice neutral. So this is a great shirt for wearing in the evening as well. Um, the shorts are really cute as well and absolutely obsessed with little sets like this at the moment. My third matching set is a lovely linen two-piece from the lovely Lydia Tomlinson and Pretty Lavish collection. I'm sure that you all follow Lydia here over on YouTube. The long sleeves are okay in warm weather, I feel, because 
is nice, light and breathable, and then we have a really nice light breathable linen skirt with it as well, which is high waisted, midi length, slit up the side. Again, gave me a little bit of Jacquemus vibes. Moving on now to bottoms. I have a selection of five pieces. I'm gonna kick off with a skirt. I was toying between this skirt or my black silk slip skirt that I included in my summer capsule wardrobe. But I thought practicality of being able to wear in the day, at night, around the pool, you know the vibe, I've said it a few times now. I decided to go for a cotton skirt. And this is another one that I picked up in that H&M haul that I mentioned, you can see that worn there. And it's this beautiful cotton skirt that has this sort of elasticated ruched detailing here sits just on the belly button and then a nice sort of flared circular skirt as I have a black cotton crop top I thought those two would look so cute paired together as well so from the two pairs of trousers I have one pair of course is linen I was toying between my black linen trousers, again, that I featured in my summer capsule wardrobe, or this light pair. I feel that these obviously work really well with this light linen shirt, because these are also from our catch. So I decided to go for these, because again, you could get away with wearing them as a set, even though they are slightly different colours. Um, so whatever linen shirt colour you pick out, maybe try and match your trousers to it, because I feel you can again wear them more ways. Um, just having a full tonal look head to toe looks more chic. And of course wearing lighter colours in hot weather is gonna be a bit cooler as well because the black fabric is just gonna soak in the sunlight a little bit more. Then I've gone for a more smart pair of trousers. Just meaning smart because they look a little bit more looks material wise and they look a little bit more evening style so I've gone for a white pair of cool loose fitting trousers either for wearing in the day and looking really chic wearing in the evening probably wouldn't wear these ones around the pool just thought they were really versatile because this colour will go with everything and looks great with a tan and they're really nice and light and these were from my Zara haul as well so you can see me wearing these over there but absolutely obsessed with these trousers they're under £40 and they look and feel so high-end definitely the champion piece from that Zara haul. Shorts on holiday and in hot weather are just literally a no-brainer. I decided to include two pairs of denim shorts rather than a denim skirt because personally having a toddler I'm better with shorts because if I'm running around after Roman because he's now in that stage of standing up wanting to try and walk and we go away in October this year so I'm hoping by then he's actually fully walking so I'm going to be quite busy on my holiday. I have two pairs, I've gone for a white pair and a black pair. Personally I'd prefer a longer length in denim but of course you go for any shorts for your fancy so two pairs of denim shorts, denim short, denim skirt take your pick. I always get chilly in the evenings on holiday. Last year when we went away I thought mm, I think it's gonna be hot so I'm just gonna take one jacket with me and it wasn't even a jacket it was actually this cardigan. This is actually from Cars who again like Arquette do great wardrobe basics that just last forever sort of timeless pieces so I pretty much wore this every night over my dresses what I was wearing so I would suggest taking a lightweight knit a lightweight cardigan you can pop it on you can wear it over your shoulders um, just a great essential layering piece so this year on my hot weather holiday I will actually also be taking a jacket I was gonna add a lightweight blazer. We all know how much I love a blazer here, but I picked up this beautiful Arquette jacket, which again is really functional because it is around 70% cotton. So of course it's gonna keep you nice and cool. It's a really nice light color. The last item of clothing in my high summer capsule wardrobe is a jumpsuit. Again, really nice and comfy, just an easy go-to outfit that you don't need to think about. Jumpsuit maybe a little bit of a statement hoop, slick your hair back with a bit of wax, that is what I tend to do on holiday because I don't want to wash it all day. So quite a lot of the time I'll have a slicked back do. So a little bit of red lipstick as well and you are good to go and you look super chic. I always reach to things like this as well in the mornings going down for breakfast. Next, footwear. I have whittled it down to five pieces of footwear. I personally have quite large feet so in my suitcase, shoes can take up quite a bit of room, especially if you're taking chunky shoes. So I tend to go for the minimal, flat, comfortable, barely there sandals on holiday. So definitely underrated in my opinion. Haviana, 
flip flops. Personally, I love the slim style, but they have so many different styles you can go for. And I have a brown pair and then also a black pair, which have this little diamante crystal on, which I think add a nice little detail for in the evening, pairing with dresses. I wear mine around the pool because obviously they have a grip on them. They're waterproof. On a similar vibe, but a little bit more dressy, a pair of leather flat sliders. I got these Zara ones recently, again in that Zara haul that I mentioned, and I'm obsessed. As well as flat sandals, I would also recommend taking a heeled sandal, but something you can walk in, something you can walk in on holiday and also that can handle perhaps cobbled streets. Think about where you're going and the terrain that you'll have. And as you can see, I pretty much loved these shoes so much since I got them. Uh, they were a far-fetched purchase. They were also in my summer capsule wardrobe and they're also in this one as well. And they are my Neen Bing thong sandals. I think thong sandals and a little kitten heel, super easy to walk in but they're really chic and these pair are really comfortable as well because they're sort of padded and so glad that I have these. And my final pair of footwear is a pair of trainers. Now I reached for again a lightish lightish weight pair of trainers that don't have too chunky a sole but I would more than likely travel in my trainers because these are the heaviest shoes obviously compared to those light sandals. I am now a hat addict. Who knew that I would be in to a fedora hat because I've always felt a little bit silly wearing one to be honest but when this lack of colour one came into my life from free people it's the ivory ranch hat I'm obsessed obsessed and now that I'm getting older I want to keep my face out of the sun a little bit more. Absolutely obsessed. I would probably travel in this though because I'm not sure how I would pack this without ruining it. <laughs> and the second hat is a good old baseball cap. Love this Anine Bing one. I think it's quite hard to get your hands on but of course you don't have to spend £50 on a cap. I just wear them quite a lot with dog walking, with off duty outfits so for me a cap is worth spending a little bit more on but you can obviously just pick up one from H&M or somewhere like that and they tend to be under £10 and they're just really functional. Let's talk holiday handbags. I picked out three uh, to take with me and to take with me to include in this vacation capsule wardrobe. Of course, a basket bag and a quite considerable size basket bag. So I have the medium size Loewe basket bag here. Now you don't have to spend the earth on a basket bag. I actually picked my Loewe bag up from Vestiaire Collective for around £200, so less than half price. So it's definitely worth checking on there because they tend to have actually quite a few Loewe bags that go up on there. Um, so you can get one for a fraction of the price, but of course you still don't even have to spend that much. There's so many on the high street at the moment. The epitome of chic for the pool and the beach and just chucking things on and walking round. Because I feel like raffia and straw obviously screams the summer, I would then go for a more delicate style smaller bag it obviously doesn't have to be store or raffia but i just love that bag for summer so for my second bag i would say take a across the body bag so we have sort of a tote bag beach bag basket bag style here and then an across the body bag and it can be you know canvas it could be leather it could be any material that you want you could also go like me for another sort of summery raffia bag something like this beautiful strathbury bag is so easy because it's small and lightweight shoulder bag so I always think that these look great for the evening super chic very 90s minimal vibes but why I love this one as well I feel it's multifunctional because you can unclip the strap so then you could use it as a little clutch bag as well and you could even use it as maybe like a wallet or to keep a couple of things in if you're going out shopping or sightseeing for the day and pop it inside your basket bag. I'm now behind the camera but I thought it would be easier here to show you what I would pack for a holiday so you're not shoving loads of your jewellery in or over packing and some clunky jewellery can be heavy. So I would suggest taking two sunglasses I have gone for a black pair and a brown tortoiseshell pair because I feel I can create lots of different looks and match them to my outfit. I love to take belts because they're great for cinching in dresses or adding detail to a simple trouser and vest top look. 
I am a gold lover of jewellery, as you probably can tell. I don't tend to wear jewellery in the day on holiday around the pool. I just like to use some accent pieces to add interest to an outfit. So a gold watch for me, I only really need to take the one. And then I feel statement chunky jewellery adds such a difference to a look, especially if you're quite minimal like me. So I have a chunky bracelet, a chunky chain, and then so I have the option of layering necklaces. I also have a pendant necklace and then this really cute pearl choker. I always think pearls look really nice on holiday. They would just remind me of the sea and fresh water. And then I have two pairs of earrings, some chunky hoops, and then some pearl earrings as well. So I can just slightly switch up my looks. For me, these are all the pieces you need in your wardrobe for high summer, hot weather, a little vacation abroad. I know you could easily get all these things, the accessories, the jewellery, the shoes, the bags, the clothes, in your holiday suitcases, so your 20, 22 kilogram checked in bag, and then also your sort of 10 kilograms little suitcase or bag that you can take and carry on the plane with you. If you're going on a weekend away, I hope it's given you some inspiration of items you could pull off this rail or from your own wardrobe to take away with you so you can pack minimally, mix and match outfits together. If you would like a separate video on what to pack for a weekend away, let me know any places that you're traveling to in the comments below and I can put that together with outfit inspiration. You'll be able to see me wearing these lots of different ways over on my Instagram at Charlotte Buttrick. But if you'd also like a follow on video from this one with me styling these looks lots of different ways specifically for YouTube and then say pool looks, traveling outfits, uh, going sightseeing, let me know in the comments below and what you need inspiration for because I'm here to create videos for you guys and I want them to be useful. So any feedback is greatly appreciated. Can't wait to get styling all the pieces on this rail. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching.